participate in this retreat. فن الأعزاء وصلنا إلى نهاية هذا اليومين من هذا اللقاء الوزاري مهم جدا وأعتقد أننا جميعنا أدينا المهمة الخاصة بنا وهي نقاش تناقش من شيء حول المستدام والدعم للإتحاد الإفريقي وحول بشكل عام خاصة بالتمويل and thank also those who have participated online and I hope that we will be uh, more and more united in, during next um, retreat um, uh, I'd like to uh, thank all ministers all uh, experts and all those who have prepared and organized this very high quality 
meeting. Thank you also to uh, Mr. Chair, uh, who have conducted these uh, meetings uh, we, in a brilliant way. I'd like to confirm and reaffirm uh, the kingdoms of Morocco or the kingdom of Morocco's commitment and uh, uh, the impulsion of His Majesty to contribute to uh, the uh, development uh, 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 of all uh, African groups and mainly this group F15 which has a very extremely important mission that I am sure that it will fulfill uh, its mission uh, during the next week and uh, um, next month to contribute to development and peace of our continent's country and thank you. Colleagues, honorable ministers, senior officials, all protocols observed, it gives me great pleasure once again and to confirm that we've had a very successful retreat uh, of uh, F-15 ministers. From the onset, I, wish, I want to thank the AU and the Kingdom of Morocco for organizing this important retreat and for according us, the policymakers, an opportunity to interact as we make sense in a global context that is, is, is confronted with several challenges at the moment. As underpinned by one of the speakers yesterday, uh, Donald, Dr. Donald Kabiruka, the choice of this theme could not have been any better as it afforded us an opportunity and also gave us convenient space to engage in a critical dialogue which speaks, which speaks directly to the fundamental matter of resilience of the African economies, especially against the emerging and negatively impacting events, which requires that we swiftly and collectively rethink our development approach as a continent. As we bring this retreat to a close, allow me to highlight a few areas emanating from the discussion which underline, which underline the key areas that requires quite urgent actions. One, member states should take practical and concrete measures to finance the budget of the African Union in the spirit of self-reliance. I don't think we really need to overemphasize this because independence and self-reliance is the hallmark of the pride and integrity of any institution. Secondly, the African Union Commission shall intensify technical and advisory support to member percent import uh, levy mechanism in harmony with their national laws. Thirdly, we committed to foster effective cooperation within and across our respective jurisdictions and intensify efforts to build economies that are more resilient to food security insecurity that will confront the challenges of price distortions in the commodity markets and disruption in the supply chain of petroleum products and fertilizers, which are key concern and discussion for every cabinet of our respective countries. Fourthly, we stress the importance of AFCFTA as a vehicle to promote inclusive economic development, including the promises of multiple benefits ranging from the promotion of industrialization and enhanced value chain systems in critical sectors of agriculture, manufacturing, energy, and services, as well as rapid development in infrastructure and digital technologies, human capital, among others. Fifthly, we agree that we shall strengthen our collaboration with the African Union Commission and deepen engagement to support the ongoing budget and financial reforms aimed at attaining the highest fiduciary transparency and accountability standards in the utilization of the financial resources. You are aware this has been a very key and heated debate because we make contribution to the AU, not that a number, of, not that we do not have key priorities, but we have shaped some of the priorities to support our own institutions, and therefore is incumbent upon 
the people who are entrusted with the resources to be more accountable, uh, transparent, and ensure that we're able to see results for what we undertake. We pledge to support the role of development financial institutions in the global financial architecture as they leverage their collective financial capacity to support the implementation of national and regional development fund, uh, plans. Further, I really want to applaud all of us for adopting a communique and declaration for adopting a communique that are broad enough in scope uh, and sanctioned, paving way for practical steps to be undertaken across the African Union, regional economic communities, and member states in the, sp in the spirit of subsidiarity. And with that, uh, Excellencies, I wish to sincerely thank on behalf of my colleague, Honorable Tahir Amid Gulini, the chairperson of the committee of 15 members, ministers of finance, and the Minister of Finance and Budget of the Republic of Chad, who should have been with us, but I think we got communication more or less uh, early yesterday that he will not make it to this important meeting. And I really want to thank him uh, for championing the spirit of the F-15. And I also really want to thank our, our host who has been gracious, quite gracious enough, our colleague, Honorable Minister, and the, the Republic, uh, the government of Kingdom of Morocco, for according us warm hospitality, for taking our time to be with us almost throughout. It's, I know the demand on our time at this particular juncture, but we really want to thank you in a very special way for, for making us feel at home away from all uh, various jurisdictions. I wish to extend, special, uh, extend a special mention and sincere gratitude to the minister, as I indicated earlier, for our selfless facilitation of, for this annual retreat and unquestionable support to the activities of this respectable committee of 15 uh, uh, of ministers. I wish also to express my gratitude to the Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission for the our determination and unwavering commitment to support the F-15, particularly the remarkable efforts to point to us, the critical areas of concern that require urgent attention. Your Excellency, this committee greatly appreciates your effort, and we say thank you to you and to all of us, uh, because without our direct participation, then the reason as to establishment of this will have not met the required standard. And to you, Honorable Ministers and distinguished heads of delegations, and including our esteemed technical experts, invited guests, High Commissioners, uh, Bazandas, and the Commission staff, I extend my sincere gratitude and heartfelt appreciation for the candid and enriching discussions which have made our retreat successful. And you see, we also had an opportunity to critique ourselves, some maybe as a point of future uh, recommendations that we need to process. Uh, the expert positions way in advance, so that when you come here, we just make decisions, but not to really engage on matters that have not been fully uh, processed. Uh, it has been a, a great pleasure to, to chair this esteemed uh, gathering, and I want to thank you all for giving, according me, the respect and the audience to uh, effectively manage uh, this very important uh, meeting. I wish you all safe journey back home. And uh, when you go back, we, we stay in touch. I know the prevailing economic circumstances dictates close collaboration, interaction, and information sharing because the problems we see in Kenya and the problems we see in any part of your countries are more or less the same. We're dealing with fuel prices, we're dealing with fertilizer prices, we're dealing with grain prices, we are dealing with high inflation, the increase in logistics cost. These are matters that, you know, is not within the domain of one country. And we'll always gain from each other by interacting, by engaging each other as required. I want to thank you in a very special way and wish you well uh, in the years ahead. Thank you very much and thanks for listening to me. Um, <laughs> and I'm very sorry if uh, I, I, 
I, at some stage, uh, I was more of a dictator because I really wanted us to, to, to navigate because there are quite a number of, of colleagues who are leaving. I didn't want even South Africa to leave, but I think we lost the timing just by just a few minutes. So thank you once again, and uh, I need to be guided by on how we're going to deal with the media briefing. I think my suggestion is that uh, our experts, I don't know, maybe the host can be doing the briefing on our behalf. That's okay. The next stage. Uh, thank you, Chair. Or, um, or maybe it's not necessary. That we can go for lunch now. No, the next step, we, we, we move to media briefing at media room to the room adjacent to this one. I submit. After, we we'll proceed with, with the lunch. I am advised that uh, I think it, requires, it doesn't require all of us. The rest, the rest can, the rest can just proceed for lunch. Yeah.
well attended by a number of uh, ministers uh, from uh, various regions, south, west, east, uh, north, uh, central. Uh, they have been quite effectively uh, uh, attended by the relevant ministers. I think those are the areas that I wanted to uh, bring to your attention, and I thank you. Bonjour, c'est Safa Abnour de la MAP. Alors ma question, est, quels sont les, les nouveaux mécanismes que vous avez euh, prôné à adopter lors de vos discussions tout en tenant compte de la, du nouveau contexte euh, empreint de la, à la fois de la pandémie et de la crise euh, ukrainienne Merci. Alors, ma question, quels sont les nouveaux mécanismes de financement que vous avez discuté et adopté euh, lors de vos discussions et qui tiennent compte du nouveau contexte euh, imposé par la, la situation pandémique et le conflit euh, euh, ukrainien Merci. Je, euh, je tenais d'abord à, à, à féliciter et remercier Monsieur le ministre qui a présidé pendant deux jours euh, cette retraite, qui était une première retraite du F15 et qui a été une occasion d'échange extrêmement riche. Et euh, Madame la, la vice-présidente de la commission également. Par rapport à votre question, je pense que Monsieur le Président a déjà, a déjà euh, répondu. Je pense que l'idée n'était pas tant de, de, de trouver des nouveaux mécanismes, mais plutôt euh, d'abord euh, faire en sorte que... trouver des solutions innovantes, euh, travailler un peu plus sur les réformes, on va dire, au sein des pays, parce que ce qui compte, c'est que les revenus des pays euh, se développent, mais également euh, une meilleure coordination avec euh, les, euh, les institutions financières, qu'elles soient régionales ou multilatérales, pour mieux coordonner tous les efforts en faveur euh, du financement de l'Union africaine, mais des pays et des économies des pays de l'Union africaine. Merci. Yousf Yagoubi, Nhez Press. Pour le moment, le Covid-19. في المجال الغذائي وفي المجال الصحي شكرا
thank you oh, for the question and answer in English. I'm still learning the language. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's a general question you ask. Uh, the sovereignty of the continent is very important. And uh, a, this conversation has been has taken place at two levels at least. We had a consideration of the Africa continental free trade area as one of uh, the key achievements of the continent that needs to be supported further because it boasts of opportunities to industrialize to trade uh, among ourselves, to create jobs, uh, to reduce poverty. A number of 100 million citizens of this continent by 2035 could be taken out of poverty if we focus on the implementation of this prog pro program. Uh, that's one area. But it means that a lot has to be done in terms of uh, improving production and productivity. That is including across all the sectors, agriculture, industrialization, but also the services industry and uh, an environment for doing business cross borders, implementation of the infrastructure development programs we have as African Union, uh, so that indeed movement of people, movement of goods, movement of services can be done, including also the digitalization, the digital economy, which is uh, another key area. Another aspect that has been uh, mentioned indeed is the capacity of member states to have to raise their resources to expand their fiscal space uh, so that uh, we can contribute to the resilience of their economies and therefore indirectly support the efforts at the continental level. So these um, uh, are some of the aspects that transpired in the different discussions and presentations. We were uh, thrilled to see that everyone is actually uh, speaking to this possibility we have as Africa to if we really did a few things uh, to see our, our, our capacity to sustain ourselves in, increase. Of course, this does not mean that we don't need to partner. Partnership is important. Another con uh, theme that transpired is how we can also leverage uh, the, the international markets how can we claim a space in the global financial architecture a little bit more uh, through empowering our financial institutions on the continent and also speaking with one voice? I think that those are some of the things that uh, were discussed. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, th I think I just wanted to add one more emphasis here is that uh, as alluded to by one of the speakers yesterday, when there are crises, there's a global crisis like what we saw about COVID, the challenges now in the war, that uh, at the end of the day, Africa is on its own. And therefore, the solution also lies here. And one of the key areas of roadmap to getting a proper solution is by enhancing interconnectivity, by enhancing trade, and the necessary infrastructure between ourselves. And that's why FCFTA wants us to address 
that we need to have policy harmonization, we need to have common customs, we need to connect our countries, we need to trade with, with each other, and we need to facilitate the movement of goods and services appropriately. Through this, then we'll be able now to uh, not only share experience, but also facilitate uh, flow of all these necessary uh, arrangements. That is very, very important. We've seen actually even when the, at, the, at the onset of the challenge of COVID and there was scarcity in vaccine, Africa was the last to get it. You only get the surplus, but because you are not a priority. And therefore, that's why it's really important that we need to have uh, completely an about turn on how we need to invest in our own relationship by making sure that you know we benefit from each other by also sharing the challenges with each other with a view of getting a permanent solution. The interconnectivity is key and that's why FCTFTA will remain an important uh, vehicle for inclusive economic development for our region.